It is another edition of the On The Mic Podcast, and I'm not just saying this because he's on the other side, but I truly do mean this. I am super excited to talk to my next guest. He is one half of the Bellator 299 main event, where he'll be fighting Johnny Eblen, the champion for the middleweight title. He's also one half of two of the best brother combinations in all of MMA. He is the one and only Fabian Edwards. Your brother's been on this show. Finally happy to talk to you on this show. Fabian, first and foremost, how's everything going? Thanks for the introduction. I love that introduction. Um, yeah, everything's going good. You know, I'm in a happy place, chilling. You know, I'm in a happy place. This is uh this is quite quite a fight, right? And and I think it's a respect to both the the champion and yourself that usually Bellator goes in and puts on these predominant Irish fights, but they decided you and Johnny were were fitting the bill for a main event of this caliber. Uh, how excited are you for this fight? Man, I'm over the moon. You know, um, I kind of have to keep telling myself, relax. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I drive around and get these little these little moments of excitement. So, yeah, I'm over the moon with it. Um, w- why are those moments of excitement there? Obviously, you've only had two blemishes on your record. You've done so yeah. well. And one thing I admire about you. Some people in the fight game, media, fans, whomever, they, they want to see a fighter with all the highlight reel knockouts, all the submissions. Yeah. For me, I could talk about you all day long because you go the distance, you get finishes, you get tested, and you always fight your way through. But what are those moments are, are, of happiness for you? Are they, I made it, I've got my opportunity, I'm one of the best in the world. Is it all of the above? What is it? Um, it's probably all the above, you know, to to be like to be one of the best fighters in the world, because I truly believe I am. That is the goal, you know what I mean? And and after I beat Johnny, I will be making um stake for the claim to be the me- best middleweight in the world, you know what I mean? So that's what you work for when you get into this sport. You don't work to get in there and be like known as okay, you know what I mean? So that's why that's what I love. Yeah, obviously no one wants to be like, yeah, I'm an all right fighter. Yeah, I'm, all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just all right. Um, And obviously the, this fight, this interview is about you. But I think in life, if you have a sibling, you always strive to be better than them or just like <laughs> them, whatever the case may be. How much of your brother becoming world champion, not just becoming world champion, but staking his claim as one of the best fighters in the world, how much does that motivate you push you there's days you probably don't want to get up and go to the gym or your body hurts how does he yeah. how does his story keep you pushing like i just think we're cut from the same cloth you know what i mean so that's it you know we're cut from the same cloth and when push comes to shove we're down to, to go through it you know so seeing his journey i mean going on my own journey that's what i've yeah that's what i took from it you know what i mean just never give up on yourself well, uh, I, I don't want to play favoritism here, but you just said cut from the same cloth. All yeah. MMA fans know what that line means. When you say cut from the same cloth ab- about an Edwards fighter, we know that usually means they, they become world champion. Um, with, with that being said, how much of the narrative, right? Because there was a narrative before your brother got the belt that he was going up yeah. against this champion that no one could beat and this champion was unstoppable. You're in that same narrative. Have you thought about that? Have you guys discussed that? Have you talked about that with your team? Just the narrative around Johnny Eblen, the champion, and how the the general casual public is counting you out. Now we haven't really spoke about it, you know. But what I, what I have said is, I feel like this is the perfect fight. You know what I mean? It's it's a guy that people are like counting me out, and it's a guy that everyone thinks is great. So that's the perfect person to take the belt off. You know what I mean? He's the perfect guy to take the belt off. What do you make of him as a champion? Um, he's all right, you know. He wrestles, he boxes, he boxes, and and that's it, you know. I think th- I think he thinks his head is more entertaining than what he is, you know what I mean? Because he doesn't want to suplex, but <laughs> overall, he's, he's just a all right fighter that, that can wrestle. Now <clears throat> you've gone through some legends to get to get to this opportunity. Um, when, when you look at the competition, what do you think you've learned through your last few fights during this current win streak, beating the guys you've beaten to go, I've beat some of the best names in the sport. You know, this this young and upcoming yeah. guy who thinks he's the best. I, I've been tested. Yeah, and I, to go through them tests and, like I say, even to go through my losses, 
I mean, it, it's, it's taught me a good few lessons, you know, and, and yeah, like this guy is, he thinks he's the best, you know, I think, I personally think he's deluded and yes, next week I, I get a chance to get all those answers, you know. September 23rd. Dublin, Ireland. Now, I've always said on this podcast that this is my favorite event of the year because yeah. you already know the the, the crowd in Ireland is going to be going crazy. They're crazy. definitely going to be drunk by the time the main event comes around. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's going to be rocking and rolling. When you're in an ener uh, uh, a stadium or arena, excuse me, like that with energy in that way for such a big, massive moment, neither of you are from the from Ireland, but yeah. you're from UK. What is a building being so energized like that do for you? Um, I feel like just walking out and getting a good reception, that's just going to, I think it's put a smile on my face. You know what I mean? It's going to put me in a good mood. So when that's the energy I take from it, it doesn't put me in a mood of like, oh, let's go crazy. Put me in a mood of like, yeah, let's let's go and enjoy that. You know, so, so I definitely think that's what the Irish crowd is going to give me. It, it's going to be great. Now, what would it mean for you just looking at, you know, not talking about your brother specifically, talking about you yeah. specifically, but looking at his journey, looking at your journey, looking at the wins and the losses, looking at everything that you've gone through inside the cage, outside the cage. You're at this moment. Fabian Edwards, what does that mean just to be at this moment right here, right now? It means a lot. You know, it does mean a lot. Like, honestly, it means well. Um, like I said, I've been... I've been training hours and hours for years and years, you know what I mean? Um, I'm known as like the over trainer in the gym. Cause I'm just constantly like, if they, even if I ain't got a fight. So to to finally work myself up to this moment in my career, it's just, yeah, it's it's like a surreal moment, but I feel like I'm just, it's the right moment. You know what I mean? It's the right time for me, for me to go out there and let it happen. When, then I didn't say if, I said when, both Edwards brothers are holding a, are holding a world title. You and your brother, when you both are world champions, what does that say about you two? And are you two the best brothers in all combat sports? Yeah, no doubt. That's history. You know what I mean? That's history. So when I bring that world title back home to Birmingham, that is some history. You know what I mean? I, I need a I need a fucking statue. Or you know what I mean? We need a statue or something because. That ain't been done in the sport. No one's, no brothers have held it at the same time in both the biggest promotions in the world. So it feels, it feels great to be a part of that history. And and not to discuss it too much because you're obviously focused on the biggest opportunity of your yeah. career. But what what is in your mind about the future of the promotion? Obviously, you don't know the answers, right? But yeah. when you have a world title fight, the first thing you obviously want to do besides Tell everyone you told them so. Celebrate your world title. Eventually, yeah. you you want to defend that world title. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that's that's obvious, right? So, for you, yeah. are you looking to go out, and make a statement, and keep keep you know an open mind to saying, "Hey, come twenty twenty four, I'm ready to keep competing." Yeah, of course. Um, I've already eyed up who's next. <laughs> I mean, I've eyed him up. I've got the opponent in my in my mind. Um, twenty twenty four to bring him back to Birmingham. You know, so I've already mapped out that plan, you know. Well, I can't wait for your fight. September 23rd, Bell Tour 299. Fabian Edwards, you've been absolutely great. Thank you so much for your time. I hope we could talk after your fight. Wish you all the best. And uh, September 23rd, Dublin, Ireland, the middleweight title is on the line. It's Fabian Edwards. It's Johnny Eblen. Fabian, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it.